Hey everybody, this is JDT Fridays Fan 97 here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you everyone is having a great weekend. And it's and it is Saturday evening. And today here are some new details on 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 shuttering of Paramount's kids streamer Noggin and when will when will service to be sunset. It's a fat trimming of Paramount streaming operations comes amidst the company's efforts to find a buyer or merger partner. <clears throat> Excuse me. Paramount Global is pulling out of the kids streaming game. As first reported back in February, the company is shutting down its kid focused streaming platform Noggin and laying off its entire staff. Few, few details were available about the move to Sunset Noggin at the time, but now Viacom is proving more information about when viewers can expect to see Noggin log off for the final time, allowing Paramount to focus its streaming efforts more on Paramount+. Plus. Here's some key details. Noggin will shut down on July 2nd, and all billing will stop by May 30th at the latest. Many Noggin titles will continue to be available on Paramount+, Plus, and Paramount is still working through merger talks with Skydance Media. <clears throat> the Viacom website specifies that Noggin will shut down on July 2nd. Customers who are still subscribed to Noggin will no longer be billed after May 30th. In its heyday, Noggin offered popular kids shows like SpongeBob SquarePants, Pup Patrol, and more completely ad-free for $7.99 a month. The shutdown of Noggin doesn't, does not mean that Paramount will no longer offer streaming content for kids. Its, its service, Paramount Plus, has a host of child-focused titles available, including favorites from Nickelodeon, originals like, like the new Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off series, Knuckles, and much more. Parents can even set up kids-specific profiles that ensure that no age-restricted content is offered to their children while they're watching. Is Noggin shutting down to hasten Paramount sales process? Paramount Global spent months evaluating of its assets as it attempts to determine the best path forward with a merger or acquisition seeming inevitable at this point. C current controlling shareholder Shari Redstone wants to move on from Paramount and thus far the company had most earnestly pursued a deal with David Elson and Skydance Media. Paramount first entered into a 30-day exclusive negotiating window with Skydance on April 3rd, and earlier this week, Skydance made an offer characterized as its best and last to the Paramount board. Apollo Global Management has teamed up with Sony to prepare a $26 billion bid for the company if the Skydance deal falls through. Paramount likely decided to follow through on shutting down Noggin in order to remove as many unnecessarily items from its balance sheet to make the sale process easier. The company has also made multiple attempts to sell its sub subsidiary BET Media Group, though nothing came of those efforts as Paramount's asking price will never be met by prospective buyers. Whenever the ultimate motivation behind the sunsetting of Noggin, viewers only had have a few short weeks left to enjoy the streamer. Much of his content will still be found on Paramount Plus, but Noggin itself would wink out of ex existence as of July 2nd, 2024.
anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, update on the on the date that the Paramount Kids streamer Nagam will be shutting down. And so, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss any updates on my on my channel. Until then, this is JDT Fridays Van ninety seven signing off. Ciao.